In some plants, meiosis and syngamy are interrupted and still a viable embryo is formed within the confines of the seed coat. Such asexual seeds which protrude progeny identical to the female parent are called apomictic seeds and the phenomenon is called apomixis. Apo means away from. Mixes means act of mixing or mingling. At the turn of the last century, it became known that certain male sterile biotype of taraxicum and hyracium set ample seeds even when no pollen plants were growing far and wide, suggesting their apomictic nature. This was experimentally confirmed simply by cutting off the upper half of the unopened flower buds with a razor so that the anthers, stigma and most of the corolla were removed. Even after this brutal emasculation, seed set and seed germination were as good as from intact and amply pollinated heads. And the plants derived from such seeds were genetically identical to the respective mother plant. Apomectic offspring are genetically identical to the mother plant. Therefore, if apomixis can be introduced in crop plants, it would provide an inexpensive way to perpetuate a given genotype preserving such characters as heterosis through successive seed generations. Apomixis would also simplify commercial hybrid seed production because isolation would not be necessary to produce F1 or maintain and multiply parental lines. However, apomixis is not very common in the major crop plants. Inspired by the potential benefits of apomictic reproduction, plant breeders are making serious attempts to introduce this transformation, development and release of apomictive cultivators of Poa Pratensis, Kentucky Bluegrass, Pepin and Funk, 1971, and St. Cruz Ciliaris have demonstrated the potential of apomixis in breeding programs. Adventive Embryoni, well known in citrus, is being used in the production of uniform rootstock and virus-free cyan material.